Okay. Hello, YouTube. I am here to give you uh, an inside look at the merciless slash ruthless and in regards to handling and uh, how to get this weapon under control. And if you take a look at other YouTube videos, most of them, they, they have a talent called braced into it in order to get control of this thing. And listen, that's exactly how I used to run my build as well. But then I was thinking, what if you run handling into the rest of your gear? How much handling do you really need? Well, I'm here to show you that. If you're interested in doing this testing, I'm going to give you some comparison. And then you can add the handling that you want. Because that way you can free up the middle talent for doing the chest talent for something else. And... Uh, I just wanted to see these results, okay? So the first thing here is adding a gear set that comes with no handling at all in the gear, except for what we come with the gunner. The gunner specialization comes with 10%, a little bit of handling when you're not in motion. So we're gonna see the handling that it comes with the specialization and the handling that comes with the gun itself. That's all. I'm going to show you that on the wall here, so you get to see that, okay? So, first things first, I'm going to make this pattern here. I'm not going to touch the controller, I'm just going to just just trigger, okay? This is on the PlayStation 4 also, so this is, this is how it goes. Okay, so it makes a beeline straight up. Okay, now we're going to put on the tried and true handling, but we're going to go with perfectly brace, which is, gives us 50%. I just wanted to see what the extreme of brace can do, okay? So adding brace into the equation, no more handling anywhere else. Everything else is rolling to LMG damage, crit chance, crit damage, okay? So we have in cover and now we have a pattern right next to it I mean that is very very immediate right I'm gonna put another pattern right here I'm gonna put another one I'm going to go with three patterns, okay? So you can compare. Okay. So that's with Braced. Now, what if we take Brace off? Put something else in. I mean, this one has no handling in it, right? But now let's add a little bit of handling. So what will it do with just one roll of handling? Here we have the gift. It comes with great damage. And there's one roll of handling in it. Do you see that? 8%. So how does it do with just one roll? Well, you're about to find out. We're going to put it right here. We're going to put another pattern right above that. So, it improved, definitely, right? A huge amount but still not good enough, especially when you're trying to hit targets that are a bit farther away from you, right? So that's with one roll of handling. What about two rolls of handling? So let's find another piece. Here's this one. It comes with 8% handling and some crit in it, okay? So this is with two. 
Okay, I'm going to put the pattern right there. Oh, interesting, wouldn't you say? All of a sudden, you start thinking, hmm, hmm, this is with just two handling. That free ups a lot of uh, uh, space for you to run something else, like crit chance or crit damage or weapon damage or damage to armor or whatever else you want it to be, right? Let's put another pattern here. I mean, it's not as tight as with the 50%, but it's definitely an improvement. Okay. It's not as pretty as with 50 handling, right? Not, not, not as pretty as perfectly braced, but way more under control. So, do you think that maybe three rolls of handling... That is my perf uh, personal choice. My personal choice is three rolls of handling. So let's roll one more in it. There. One, two, three handling rolls, right? And let's see how this one looks. It's even more interesting, huh? It does have a, a sideways drag. Do you see that? Okay. It is definitely a tighter pattern. This is a, a weapon that you're going to be using at middle to longer ranges, right? And just for the sake of testing, I'm going to put in a fourth handling, okay? So you guys get to see... Uh, I think I have... Yeah, this one. This one comes with weapon handling as well. I'm going to show you four. Right there. All of a sudden, it starts to look a lot like braced. It's really a tight pattern. There you have it. Um, now, if you want to see about the damage, that running three handling rolls will give you, I have a build for you. If you're interested, you can run it any way you want it. The way I have it is like this. A god roll. Everything is god roll, by the way. So we have Ruthless. We have Coyote Mask, which gives us different bonuses depending on the distance that you're hitting. And uh, the range at which we're probably going to be hitting the most, we're going to be aiming for that 15 to 25 meters. So we're probably going to be trying to trigger that 10% crit chance, 10% crit damage. And if we hit further away from that, then of course we get the crit, dam the crit chance. We get crit chance at 15 all the way down. So we want to make sure, or at least me, I want to be close, not at max crit chance. I was able to get it at 51% crit chance. So we have that leeway so I can get a little bit of bonus from this mask. 
and my crit damage is at 185. The way the build looks is COVID and mask got rolled. We have three piece providence for getting crit chance and crit damage. And uh, this one it comes with perfect vigilance and one roll of handling on here. Another roll of handling on the chess piece with perfect glass cannon. And the last roll of providence here also with handling and crit. In order to bring it home is one piece of Sheska with crit chance and crit damage. And of course, Fox's Prayer, which is basically a no brainer in order to get that increased damage for your rifle. Overlords activates and, and damage the targets out of cover. So that's the build. The one really nice thing about the build is that you have that handling whether you're standing in cover or not, right? You have that handling all the time. The accuracy on this thing is amazing. The reload time is at 1.6, and you can see those bars of accuracy and stability. Like I show you on the wall, it's really accurate. Now the damage. This is the damage. Let me show you damage. Um, let's go with 20 meters. Elite, named, oh, at 20 meters, oh, great, decided not to crit for like half a clip, but when he crits, there it is, we have one mil on crits, Okay, the crits are coming in now. I mean, we are sitting at 60. And that explosion that happens when you when you land a, a tight pattern of in and out, in with the bullet, out with the bullet, in, out, in, out. That explosion is like around, I don't know why it doesn't give me a number, but the number should be like around six mil on the chest about 8 mil on the head. I've seen those numbers out in the field. But I'm going to go full full auto so you get to see... Oh, there's a 6 mil there. He does start to walk to the sides. Also, there's a, there's a type of... Uh, like there's a kind of rhythm that you can actually perfect as you use the weapon more and more in which if you time it just right you can actually get those jerks of stops do you feel that where all of a sudden he goes pop up and then nothing and then pop up well if you time it just right you can actually start getting some really nice sequences of bullets like all of a sudden you start spraying let me see if i can get it I just started using it, so I haven't mastered it, but... But listen, man. Critting at 1 mil? These numbers are beautiful. The accuracy... I'm standing up, by the way. No need for braced. You free up... Like I said, three slots. You free up... Uh, bonuses on the other three pieces of gear that you can run whatever else you want if you want to run your contractors if you want to run your your Sawyer's knee pads if you want it but uh, the thing with Sawyer's knee pads especially if you're going to be running solo this the knee pads require you to not be moving for like 10 seconds and i don't know i'm just maybe i'm just too twitchy uh, that i just can't stay standing still for too long but um, that's an option Besides, it comes with blue rolls, and I just see a lot of negatives, especially with that explosive resistance and then health, which is, I think, in my opinion, one of the, th the two rolls that are the least used in all of the bills that uh, from from our community. Health and explosive resistance. Like, I never made a build like that. 
Oh, in case you're interested, uh, I'm running a shotgun for close encounters, and I'm running a gun that usually sucks with the handling, and I decided to put it in just to see how it will do. It actually works out really nice. I think that I'm going to be missing so much with it that I even put Lucky Shot in it. Because, hey, listen, if three shots land while the other nine, the other five miss, it's okay. Because I will keep on just spamming. Well, you don't have to spam as much when you have handling into, the, into your build. So, this is an in inside look into handling rolled into gear rather than rolled into a uh, talent, the chess talent. So that's all. That's all for me, YouTube. Have a good one.